So today we are comparing four ANC headphones that ranges from the budget to slightly mid-range price point and all of them definitely have their pros and cons so stick around to find out more about them. If you want more information about these headphones, I'll put the links of each of the headphones review in the description below so you can check it out. And if you find value in this video, do consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any future tech reviews. And as usual, if you're interested in getting any of these headphones as well, do check out the links in my description below. So starting with the price here, the most budget-friendly model that we have here is definitely the QCY H3, which comes in at a price of 28 US dollars. And next up will be the Tozo HT2 at 50 US dollars. And then we have the Halo S35 A at $60 and finally the Soundpeat Space which is the priciest of the bunch at $80 US dollars. And although all of these headphones come in at slightly different price points, they have pretty similar sound performance and features so it makes sense to compare them to see which one is the better option. So in terms of the design, all of these headphones folds up the same way and they pack away quite compact. However, all of them have one common problem which headphone at this price point mostly have and they all don't come with a carry case for you to carry them around and I really hope that the more expensive Soundpeat space will come with a case but again it doesn't come with one. So all of the headphones here will tilt, swivel and rotate to give you maximum adjustability when using them. However, I will rate them from the most comfortable to wear to the least comfortable to wear starting with the Tozo HD2 being the most comfortable and then the Halo S35 ANC followed by the QCY H3 and finally uh, the least is the Soundpeat space. But don't get me wrong because it's not horrible and just the position of it doesn't sit the head as smoothly or seamless as the rest but overall it's still a very comfortable headphone. And the best part of all of these headphones is that they all come with memory foam ear pads and the softest and the thickest of the bunch is actually the QCY so you can see how thick that padding really is and it's actually super soft. And comparing to other genre of headphones like the Hackety Gaming headphones that we've recently reviewed, those are just very basic foam padding that is not the most comfortable to wear. All of these are really comfortable to use and it's just a matter of which one is the softest but in my opinion you're not wearing them one after another so either one that you pick, they are really comfortable. And I'm also happy to report that all of these headphones do support the 3.5mm jack so you can use all of these headphones passively while plugged in uh, to enjoy great uh, latency to get better sound signature with the high res Audio, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And in terms of battery life, the clear winner here is the Soundpeat Space as it comes with an insane battery life of 123 hours without ANC, 61 hours with ANC on. So none of the competition here even come close to that performance and just as a contrast, the next best that you're going to get is the Tozo and the Halo, uh, each giving you 40 hours with ANC and 60 hours without the ANC. Although the QCY has a good 70 hour battery life without ANC, but its battery life with ANC on is slash almost half at 35 hours so it has the lowest battery performance amongst the all. Volume wise the best of the bunch is actually the QZY H3 where you're gonna get the most flexible and loudest volume of the bunch and you're gonna get a loud volume and only 70% volume whereas the rest will get to the same loud volume and only 100%. The worst here is the Halo S35 where a comfortable listening volume only starts at 70% and even using it at 100% isn't too loud. But fortunately all of these headphones can be used plugged in and can go pretty loud depending on the driver of your PC or devices. Okay when we talk about features here we got to separate the features from the sound signature because although some of these may not have support for high-res audio they still sound very good and with that said all of these headphones have high-res audio support but they are not high-res audio wireless so they are only plugged in high-res so only the Soundpeat space here does not have the high-res support which is sad since Soundpeat is famous for getting most of their newer headphones and earbuds certified with high-res so the only headphones here that has water resistant rating is the Halo S35 ANC and if that is a determining factor for you then this is the headphones to get. The Soundpeat space is said to be water resistant but there is no official rating provided. So in terms of multi-point support, all of these headphones supports two device multi-point except for the 
proposal which does not support multi-point capabilities. And finally, all of these headphones come supported with their own app support, so you can play around with their settings, check out my full review if you want to see how each of the app looks like. So in the battle of the ANC headphones, the most important feature is how well the headphones cancel surrounding noise. And the winner here is clearly the Soundpeed Space, where it pro provides the best cancellation for all categories from road noise to airplane cabin noise to cafe noise test. Uh, and I gave it an ANC score of 8.4 out of 10. Second goes to the Tozo HD2, which is pretty decent, but not too impressive ANC performance with a score of 7.6 out of 10. And finally, the QCY and Halo both have a score of 7.2 out of 10. But for my test, the QCY is the worst at cutting down noises such as road noise and airplane cabin noise, which is most commonly the places where people would use their ANC headphones. So you might want to take this factor into consideration where you will mostly use the ANC feature when you want to buy any of these headphones. So the sound signature that is most V-shaped here uh, with the most aggressive sub bass rumble goes to the Tozo HD2 as well as the Halo S35 ANC. Uh, if those are the signature that you're looking for, something that hits really deep and dark, then those are the two you can consider. So the Soundpiece and the QCY both rumbles well too, but they aren't as deep compared to the Tozo and the Halo. And if you seek clarity on any of these headphones, then the Soundpiece and the Tozo does provide you with very good clarity. And they don't feel messy, gives you a very clean sound signature with the highs. And the least clean headphones here would be the QCY, where it does get messy sometimes with the highs. However, you may think that the Tozo would be the best since it has the best highs and the good bass, but the vocals here are not exciting here. Very usable, just nothing to shout about. Again, for the three headphones that support the high res audio capabilities when plugged in, they all take a very different sound signature, where the bass are completely knocked down to make way for higher resolution audio signature. Without the bass blaring away, this is a common place for any high res products where you get the flattest, widest dynamic range audio your signature you can get with these headphones. So this is a test to see if the Soundpeed Space is a good headphones for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect with these headphones. So this is a test to see if the QCY H3 is a good headphone for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So this is a test to see if the Halo S35 ANC is a good headphone for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and the call quality that you can expect. So this is a test to see if the Tozo HT2 is a good headphone for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So latency wise, the better two would be the QCY as well as the Soundpeed and the worst latency performance here would be the Tozo HT2, where latency is extremely severe here and the rest works fine in gaming mode when playing games like PUBG but do expect some latency since these are all wireless headphones. So watching movies and videos on these headphones works great for most scenarios that I've tested. So if you want to see the proper latency tests, do go to each of the individual videos so you can see how it performs. So I hope you found some value with this video and I hope you learned something as well. Again, I'm not here to tell you which of these headphones are better or which is the best because they all excel at different departments. So since there are no perfect headphones, this video will give you an idea of which categories of features you value the most and you can find the ones that best performs in that category. So that is it for this comparison video and if you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.